Okay, I'm back here again with another color correction tutorial. I am Tony, and this is Final Cut Pro 10, and we're going to be showing you how to do color correction for uh, Call of Duty, like I just said. And uh, I did one not too long ago, I guess you can call it part one, uh, where I basically explained that it, you can do color correction without Magic Bullet looks. Now I'm going to show you how much easier it is with Magic Bullet looks. Highly recommended program. Um, basically, drag on saturation, very recommended. Reason why is, like I said, colors pop. You want your colors to pop as much as possible. Then you go to Magic Bullet Looks here. Click on that, drag it in. And you click on the clip, and you hit Edit. And then suddenly, not exactly suddenly, but it's getting there, Magic Bullet Looks will pop up. Now, to get Magic Bullet Looks, you do have to pay... There's, you know, obviously probably a way that you can get it for free. You can go ahead and look online. I'm not going to promote that or show you how to do that. But, yes, you could probably get it for free. And you go ahead and you, you can just, you know, mess around with their color corrections. Now, basically, when you get it, you have a lot of interesting color corrections you can mess around with. That Honestly, when I look at them, they look just like the color corrections you'd find in, in uh, Final Cut. Um, but they do cut down on the work a little bit. You can see this blockbuster one's kind of cool, warm and fuzzy. <laughs> it's kind of uh, that's kind of a weird name. Ohio, that's kind of cool. Um, but what you really want to aim at is finding CC packs online on YouTube. Um, I actually have a few here. I actually have some COD4 CCs that are kind of cool. Um, they just add a basic color to where it looks better for the map. Um, but then I have some really advanced CCs. So let's show you this Zebo Mixed. And you get a really nice CC there. This epic one, which adds like a bunch of flares. And you can see like it kind of stretches out the the light in the video. That one's kind of a little overdone, especially for that part of the clip. This one's kind of cool. A little bit of glow and blur on the outside. This chill one, more blur. Dazzle RGB, um, pretty cool. Nice little blur. And uh, Agony. So you have like that typical agony ones, the hardcore edits. And I even have more here. I have this big ass CC pack I can go through and I can check out all those. And I have some of my own CCs that I have laying around too that I've worked with. You can make your own. You can actually mess around a little bit and make your own CC. Um, but I recommend that you get a CC pack. Now, um, like I said, as usual, I always mention this, that um, if you sub, then I'll have a full editing pack coming out with all of my color corrections that I use in my edits and you'll be able to try some of those out. But uh, for now, you can go ahead and look around online and subscribe to my channel and wait for that CC pack to come out. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you do color corrections in uh, Final Cut uh, 10 with, of course, Magic Bullet Looks. So we'll just hit Finished. You can see it loads up here. Now, the only complaint I have about Magic Bullet Looks on Final Cut is it takes a while to render out the color correction um, when you're doing a huge project, but usually it's it's pretty consistently... Um, fast enough to where it works and it renders out pretty well and it gives a good result obviously so it's worth it. Um, that's pretty much it. I am Tony. If you like this video and you like this tutorial and it helped you out at all, go ahead, subscribe, comment, and like and tell me what you think. And of course I'll have my, uh, my editing pack coming out once I hit 1k subs. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I am Tony and I'll see you guys next time.